To repair any of the RTF pumps, you will need these tools. Here are the required kits to properly repair the pump. The discharge and inlet valves on this pump are all the same, so I will only show one of them. To replace the inlet and discharge valves on this pump, you need to remove the valve caps on the manifold with a 32mm hex socket. Next, use a pair of needle nose or valve pliers, remove the valves by grasping the plastic valve cage and pulling straight out. Put in the new valves and firmly press down so they properly sit in the pump. Put the valve caps back on and torque them to 3,540 inch-pounds or 290 foot-pounds. To remove the pistons and their guides, start by taking off the head bolts by using an 8 mm socket. Now, remove the manifold by using a soft-faced mallet hammer evenly on each side of the head. Remove the parts on the plungers that easily come off. If parts stay inside of the head, use a slide hammer to take them out. If any parts on the plungers stick, turn the crankshaft so they can easily be pulled off. If you still cannot pull them off, Use two screwdrivers to provide more leverage. A ray can be used to provide better grip when pulling off the guides. Here are all the pieces that go into the head. Make sure none of yours are missing. The first item to go back into the head will be the front support rings with the flat side facing down. Next comes the high pressure seal. Its curvature should fit on top of the head ring. Make sure to press them in all the way. On top of that should go the rear support rings. Put in the front piston guides with the curved side going into the head. When putting everything into the rear piston guides, start by putting the scrapers and o-rings inside. Make sure the scraper goes in first with the o-ring on top of it. Put a new o-ring on the other piece of the piston guide. Push them into the bigger guide with the flat side up. This will keep the inner o-ring in place.
Next, put the new O-rings onto the rear piston guides. To complete the rear guide, start by putting the backup rings into it, followed with the low pressure seals. Now push the complete guide into the head with the rear seal facing down. To replace the pistons, start by taking off the piston bolt using a 13mm hex socket. Clean off the threads on the bolt, leftover debris may damage the pump. Make sure to add a small amount of grease when putting the new pistons back on. Put Loctite or Teflon tape onto the threads to secure the bolt. Put the new plungers and bolts onto the pump, torque them to 177 inch-pounds. When putting the head back on the pump, have the pistons line up like this. Reapply the manifold onto the pump. If necessary, use a soft face mallet to secure it. Reapply the head bolts and torque them to 442 inch pounds. Torque them in a crisscross pattern to evenly distribute pressure. 